Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel for another video today. First things first, Coda has returned. So many of you love this little guy and he is finally back. Um, since if you don't know, I watch him and my sister's other dog. She's a teacher and she teaches at the school my daughter goes to. So I watch the dogs during the day for her. Um, so back to school season is here. So Coda today is his first day back. So he will be appearing in videos again, but I um, wanted to go ahead and mention that because he's right there and who knows what he'll do throughout this video because he is a character. Um, so today I have for you guys a very large, non-sponsored Timu haul. I bought all of this stuff with my own money um, and I got a lot of like, I think different things this time. I really was like in a moment when I was shopping. So I have this package. And then there's another one here as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right on to into it. I have clothing, shoes, um, household items, beauty. I have all types of stuff to share with you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I am not going to include prices just because prices of things on Timu change literally all the time. Like hour to hour. However, I will provide links to everything that I can in the description box so that you can go and just click the link and it'll take you straight to it. Not affiliate links or anything like that. Um, again, this is a completely unsponsored haul, but I will provide those for you if you see something in this haul that you want to try out. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm nice and comfy here today. Okay, so this is the first thing. Okay, so this is um, not really that exciting for it being the first thing, but this is a sprayer for um, the girls hair or my hair or whatever, just to like wet their hair. I'm also thought about using it on my plants that I have. My mom has one of these and she uses it on her plants just to spritz them. We have some succulents, um, that I can never figure out how to water. And I'm hoping that this might help like spritzing them or whatever, but mostly I bought this for, um, water for the girl's hair. It's Nala shaking there. The next thing that I have are, this is actually two things. So I bought two of these cups off Timu. I've been seeing these for a while and I've been wanting to give them a shot. So these are the, um, like con, I think it's Contigo that brands dupe, I guess they look exactly like it. I don't know if they're the same quality yet, of course, just because I am just now taking it out of the package. Um, by first feel, they feel the same. I will say that this is different the way that this attaches. I think you just shove it yeah what you barking at so you just shove it in there and then it has the same type of closure so my thought for these was for um preschool for finley one thing i noticed the straw on the um, contigo ones comes out and this one does not um it just like this whole plastic piece comes off so i think you could just slide it down yep to wash it. So it's actually less pieces than the Contigo ones. Cause you have a lot, there's like three or four different pieces that you have to take apart on those. And these were only like two something a piece. So I got a pink and green one and then a green and pink one, just the opposite colors. These will be used for her to take to school for her, um, like snacks and stuff like that. I purchased this is something interesting, I think. So this is a bathroom waterproof mobile phone case. So it is for taking your phone in the shower with you so that you can like listen to music, listen to a podcast, whatever. I'm bad about, I'll try to listen to a podcast, but then the, it'll be like out on the counter. And so I can't hear the podcast very well. So I was thinking if I had this and my phone was there, then I would be able to hear it or whatever, especially when I'm like, doing everything, taking a longer shower, you know, doing all the things. <laughs> um, it'd be nice to have this in there. So it's just this like waterproof front and then you open it up and stick your phone down in there and shut it. And then, you know, it's hanging on your wall. It has these little hook things, these little hook stickers to you put that on the back of your shower and then the contain the thing anchors on the hooks there. So I actually thought this was pretty cool. I'm excited to give this a shot to see how well it works. And then it does, I thought this was a little interesting as well. It has little 
these little round peg things that you can put in there to hang like a washcloth or a loofah or something on as well. There's two of those. I don't know that I'll use those, but I thought it was a nice little touch. This was pretty affordable. I think this was one of the things that I saw like after I had checked out and it was like, add this to your cart. And I was like, okay. <laughs> they always get me on those types of things. But I think if this works, it'll be a handy thing to have for sure. And then the next thing that I got is just another set of these pens. I bought these pens a few times ago and love them. They work so good. They're a fine tip. It's really like, um, what's the brand? I, uh, I'm not even going to try, but there's a pen that I used to have when I worked in the doctor's office that like everybody wanted that pen because it was so good and wrote so well and so smooth. These remind me of that. So this pack was 12. The other one that I bought was only five. So I liked that I got 12 in this one, an array of colors. They are all black ink, but an array of colors. Um, and we lose pens like nobody's business around here. Like for some reason, we just cannot keep pens in this house. Okay, we got stuff packed in here. So this is our first clothing item. So this is actually a pajama set for Finley. I do not think that it's supposed to be pajamas. Like, like on the Timu site, it said it was an outfit, but I'm pretty sure this is pajamas, you know? Um, you guys let me know what you think. This is the, what the bottoms look like. Like these are pajamas, right? So they just have these really cute like clouds and donuts and cupcakes and hearts and candy, all types of fun stuff on, on the bottoms. And then the top is just a little donut and coffee, or that's a, what are those called? Boba teas, boba teas, whatever they are. Um, that's the top. I, I think this is definitely pajamas. I think they just had it mislabeled. We're going to use it as pajamas because that's what I think it is. So got her those. This really isn't all that cool. This is just a, uh, drain thingy my bob, you know, that you shove down in a drain to clear it of like hair and stuff. It's got all these little like spikes on it so that it can grab onto everything. We've been needing one of these really bad. I mentioned in a video recently that my kids, my bathroom sinks have been terrible lately. I think it's because they brush their teeth and then don't rinse down all of the toothpaste. I could be wrong, but I needed this. This, this was needed. So I went ahead and bought that. That was like less than a dollar. So nothing really fun there, but you know, it's what it is. I got this. So these are actually some pillow covers. So I can't decide yet if I'm going to use them out here in the living room or in my bedroom. I also got a blanket that I'll show you in a minute. Um, but I thought these were, I don't know. I kind of feel like these will go better in the bedroom. They're very large pillows. Um, and it's just like a white velvety corduroy velvet, um, feeling. These are actually really well made. I have had pillowcases from Timu in the past, my Christmas ones that I bought last year, they literally ripped before the season was even over. And I did get some, these ones, this Bless This Home one a few times ago as well. And they and have held up really well. I have this one and then one other one over there. Yeah, they, they've been do, having some, I've been having some good luck with pillowcases lately. So I'm sure these ones will hold up as well. But I do think looking at them now that I've actually taken them out of the package, that I think I will use them for uh, my bedroom instead of on the couch. Okay, so this is the blanket that I bought and I'm really excited to see how this feels. It looked really cool on the website. Of course, we all know sometimes the way things look on Timu are not how they actually end up being, you know? Um, but first thing I can say is that this does not seem to be as large as I thought it was, but this is like a boho Afghan. Well, it's pretty big, I guess, but it doesn't seem like it would be very warm. <laughs> it's just a little, you know what this seems like it's for? Cause it's not very thick either. This is the entirety of it. This almost seems like it should be like at the bottom of a bed as a runner, which if I'm gonna use the pillows in the room, I might well, I might as well just use this in my room as well. So I, I do like this. I wish it was a little larger. I wish it was a little thicker for what I paid for it. I believe I paid about $15 for this blanket, but I do like the design of it. You can see there it is very boho, um, but you're not gonna be able to cover anything up with this. Like I couldn't, I couldn't sit on the couch and snuggle with this blanket for sure. Um, it's just more of a, a decoration thing, I think, which is fine. That's kind of what I was wanting it for. Um, but yeah, 
I'm trying to make my bed area especially look just more clean, white, aesthetic, stuff like that. So that will help with that. The pillowcases will help with that. Um, would I buy that again? Probably not. Knowing the size that it is now, I probably would not repurchase it or purchase it if I had known how big it was. There was not any reviews. I do try with Timu to look and see if there are any reviews, especially reviews with pictures, because that seems to be really helpful. Um, but this one did not have any. So it's okay. I'll use it, but it's not exactly what I was hoping for. Next thing here. Okay, so this is a um, calendar, a magnet calendar for our um, refrigerator. So we have a lot going on this fall. Um, we have two kids playing soccer. Kylie and Finley are both playing soccer. Bryson is running cross country. Bryson joined youth group at church. We have, it, we've, we've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, so he'll have like all of his cross country meets and, and all of that. And then soccer games for two girls, both of which Chris is coaching their team. So we have a lot going on. So I wanted to have something that I can like stick on the side of the refrigerator, write everything down on all of our appointments and practices and all of the things so that everybody can look at this and just be, know what we're doing that day. I'm gonna write our meals on here as well. If I can squeeze them in, I bought some like little expo markers at Walmart when we were there today, like the fine tip ones. And that's what I'm gonna use for this. So hopefully this works. Um, I mean, it seems like it will. It's just a big old dry erase magnet. So I grabbed this, I believe this was like three or $4. So super affordable and hopefully it works. We have some more clothing items. These are all for um, Finley. I bought her several little outfits for her first day or for, you know, kinder. Nope, she's not going to kindergarten for preschool. <sighs> and this is the first one. So this is a little dress and you, it comes with, this is the dress itself, but it comes with a little short sleeved white shirt. So you put the shirt on and then um, the dress on over it. So it's like that layered look like that, which I thought was super cute. This is really in right now. This dress will be long enough for her to wear to preschool, um, and not have to worry about like, you know, bending over and all the things that we do always put shorts on girls while they're at preschool as well. But that one should be perfect. And that is exactly what I thought it was going to be super cute. This shirt she just saw when we were shopping and wanted it. So it's a little pink jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. I believe this was like three or $4. She is going to wear this. Um, she's in the three-year-old class this year, which means that she will get to go on field trips. Last year, the two-year-old class didn't go on field trips. Um, they do in threes and fours. So she'll be able to go to the pumpkin patch this year. So she'll wear this to the pumpkin patch and you know, I'm sure all throughout the month of October as well. Let's see, oh my gosh, I have a first day of school dress right here. I can't wait to show you what I picked. Um, this is just another little, this is actually like a more fall wintery outfit, but I thought it was really cute. So I went ahead and got it. So the pants are just these leopard um, pants. And then it has a long sleeved pink frilly fluffy shirt on it with it. And it's like a high low, like the front is um, higher than the back. So imagine this with some like really cute boots and it does have a, a headband that I think I dropped or something. Here it is. It has a headband as well, but I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to get Finley to wear this. Maybe I could get her hair like in a ponytail and then um, like tie this in the back of it. I don't know, but I thought this outfit was really cute. I believe this one was like eight or $9, um, but you got the full set of an outfit. And then this is her first day of school. Um, First, we're gonna do shoes. So I bought these shoes for the first day of school. My sister had just bought some of these for my niece, Georgia, that is almost one years old already. And she looked so cute in these. So when she, I saw them with on her, I decided that I was gonna get some for Finley as well. So they're like little Converse's. I picked Finley's these pink ones. The only thing I don't like is that it says fashion kid shoes on the back of it, but that's not a huge deal. They are coming up on camera, like a little more peachy. They are pink, um, they're coming up a lot peach on there but they're a lot more pink so i got her those and then to go with it on her first day of school i got her this pencil dress that i am obsessed with so the top is just crayons not pencils i said pencils but crayons pink um 
or green and then all of the colored crayons and then the bottom is pink with all of the big um these are actually pencils so it was pencils i wasn't wrong um colorful pencils on it so that's the full dress i love this so much and she's gonna wear it with her pink shoes look how different of colors that looks on there i don't know why but she's gonna wear this outfit on her first day of school i'm so excited for this the shoes were probably one of the more expensive things that I purchased in this haul. I believe these ones were like $15. It was about the same price as that blanket, um, but I'm, I'm obsessed. Finley now has three new pairs of school shoes, which I didn't realize. I just kept buying more, but all of her shoes, like, you know, at this age, everything's like cheaper. So she gets more for the same amount of money as the older kids because Bryson's adult men's shoes are like $100 nowadays, which is appalling. And then I had to buy him shoes to wear for cross country too. So he has a pair of basketball shoes that he's gonna wear every day to school. Um, my camera moved. And then running shoes that he can run in at cross country. So anyways, um, a few more things in this package. And then I have the other package to share with you. That's all in that one. I have so many wrappers. Every time I do one of these hauls at the end of it, I'm like, oh, I just filmed all this and I have to clean it all up. Okay. So this is cool. I bought this for myself, but I think one of my kids is going to end up stealing it for me. So this is one of those infinity pencils. And mostly I bought it because I was curious. I had already opened it um, when the package came and had tested it out, but this is what it looks like. And it literally is. Let's see if I can find something. Hey, Coda. To color on. Found my notebook here. So that's kind of how it writes, like a normal pencil. And it's so cool. Like apparently it lasts forever. I don't know, I can't test to that right now, but it does also have an eraser on the inside of it, like a long pencil eraser. The only thing is I wish that it somehow like came out the top, the eraser, but it does not. So that's a little unfortunate, but not a huge deal. Um, I just won't need to erase as much, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but this pencil is really cool. This was a few dollars. And I'm gonna like hide this from all of my children. I don't even use pencils that much. I just, I don't know, it's just cool. Maybe I'll use that more in, in my notebook. That was just something mostly that I purchased out of curiosity. The next thing that I got, this was a definite necessity in my life. We are having the hardest time with sheets lately. And I actually think it's because Kylie, they're Kylie sheets and our sheets. And Kylie, most of the nights ends up in our bed. So I think she's the problem because they come off on the sides. I think she rolls and like pulls at things and tugs and stuff. So I got these little clasps, you know, that you put on all sides or all corners of it. And then hopefully it keeps it on. So I got that. And then the final thing in this package is just a little chapstick. So this is a colored chapstick. Um, I got this for myself. Oh, that's dark. I don't know about that. That's very dark. Oh, okay. So this is like lipstick. So uh, uh, that's a lot. I don't know. We'll see about that. I might need to like use some of it and then tint it down a little bit. Like what am I going to do with all this? So I just put on my, oh my gosh, that's dark. Can y'all see that? Ooh. I don't know about that. We're going to see. Uh, even if I don't like it, I'm rubbing it on trash. Even if I don't like it, I will. And it smells funny. Um, I'll use it for something. Okay. In the other package, real quick, because I feel like this video has been super long. I got Finley these packs of little t-shirts. So it was a three pack of t-shirts. You got a pink one, a white one, and then a black one. And they're just little like ruched short sleeve shirts at the bottom. So I thought these would be good for school um, with like a pair of shorts or whatever. And they all have that ruching at the bottom. Super cute. That like rib knit look. Um, again, I was just going for like comfort things that she could just quickly play in all of that. And then the last piece of clothing is also for Finley and it is a unicorn shirt. This was the same thing as the pumpkin. It was something she saw when I was going through and she just said she wanted it. And so I bought it. So it's that little unicorn guy closing his eyes. Three more things to share with you. So I actually got another set of those lip glosses, except this has three in it. Um, and these ones say that they're a matte. So hopefully, I think I picked the nude one. So hopefully these are a little bit better. I'm just trying to see if I can open this. There we go. This packaging so I can take them, at least the tubes out. 
and show you. Okay, so, ooh. So these ones are definitely more subtle, I would say, than the others, but they all kind of look very similar in color. Um, oh, and they twist. Oh, so they're like a lip gloss. Hmm, okay. I like these better, I think. I dropped one, but these I like better than then the other lipstick for sure. And then the final two things that I got are these master patch zip patches. I got these for Bryson. Enough said, he's hitting puberty. Um, and everybody says that these are just like the ones that you can get at like Target or whatever. And then the final thing that I got, I finally gave in and got some of this car cleaning putty. I kept seeing everybody buying this stuff. And so I decided to just go ahead and buy some. So I got this car cleaning putty. This will be so cool. Um, and I'm going to try it out. The kids go to school tomorrow. Maybe I'll clean my car tomorrow while they're at school. Cause it's me and Finley. That's like a thing that we can do together. So I got this and that is everything that I got at Timu. Don't forget to check the description box for all of the links to everything. Let me know what your favorite thing was that I got. Um, I think my favorite is all of the clothes for Finley, but I do also really like this pencil, which seems really silly to be excited about. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope your kids have a great start back to school and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.